awkward. Josh Giddy. Super intern, I need to know how old Josh Giddy is currently, please. Last name is G I D D E Y. Josh Giddy, star guard or guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder, really good player. 21 years old. Is alleged to have just turned 21. So we're talking about somebody who literally just turned 21. Um, allegedly is reported to have some type of relationship with some minors. Plural? Plural. Ooh. I didn't know it was plural. It's not just one. But if we're going to talk about the one, that's the biggest one. Because like I said, there's an investigation going on. Um, we're not going to go into crazy detail with this, obviously. Because there's an investigation going on. We don't want to go ahead and make assumptions until all the facts and the details are out. I want to make an assumption. Go ahead. But please clean it. Keep it clean. All right. I think uh, this Mr. Giddy. Could possibly be one of these guys who, you know, maybe he was never really in the spotlight like that. Right. Now he's uh, big time. You know, he's played in front of the big audience. He's on TV. All the cameras, the lights shining in his face. And and the tr- I don't even want to say that word. But this young woman was interested in him. Oh, kitty. I love you, kitty. I love you too, baby. And he just took a little bit too far. Could be. Or the fact that he comes from Australia. Oh, that's probably okay out there. And down under. There's certain things that, you know, you gotta you gotta think about the the age difference down there, what's what's allowed, what's legal. But also too, the the reports is that this young lady was in an eighteen and over club. And she doesn't necessarily look young, right? But at that point, we all know this game, right, as men. We've all been in situations one side or the other in regards to seeing a girl. She looked good, but she's like, you know what? I need to know how old you are, fam. Like, where your card at? <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? Like, where is your card? Can I be and- devil's advocate? Yes, please. If you're in the club and you're sourced, that's not necessarily the first thing you're going to do. hundred percent accurate. Absolutely. You know, so I can understand that. If he met her in a club that's 18 and over, I I don't want to say I get it, but I can understand how some mistakes can be made. I can't, I can't fault you for that. I can't fault you for that take. I, I mean, it's... Uh, but if it ended there, then yes. But if it continued to go on, that's yeah, where right. exactly. Yeah, so right. that and that's what happened, right? It continued outside of the club, where now there's different situations going on, and this is now your chance to be able to get some verification, vet, like, vet the sources, especially if you're speaking to her like during school hours. Like, you, got, you gotta relax, you know. You gotta relax. As I said, decorum, sir. I thought like, that was. Did he go to her prom? <laughs> I'm just asking. If... <laughs> well, the reason why I said oh, what I said 16? is because like, that's if you're calling a certain person at a certain time of the day and you're having, you know, just general conversation with them, it would make you think, like, hey, mate, this person isn't at school. This person's available. Well, I'm at work or something. Right, like you know. I'm in so, college. Yeah, it'd be crazy if you say I'm at work and you get a text back and say I'm at band practice. That band's in college. Hey, dude. Oh, she's like, I'm working at school. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yo, people be uh, in his defense, people be lying on that level. But an ongoing thing is something. Hey, you had more than enough time to be like, Yo, so when's your birthday? Year of what? Yeah, I'm the year of the dog. What are you? And also, too, right, like, you're an NBA player. Like, 
now I guess this is just us talking because we're not in that life and it's easy to be able to play, you know, armchair quarterback and be judgmental or I would do this. But it's like if you're in that situation, you got money. Like I would have somebody with me to make sure that they're kind of vetting my sources of who's in my circle. Like I got to my body and my popularity and my skill is is my business, right? This is my business. So if I'm having any interactions with anybody, it's going to affect my business, whether in a positive or a negative way, which means that I need somebody to be able to vet any particular source that's in front of me at all times. You know what I'm saying? Like you have the resources to be able to do that. Young or not, you need to understand the landscape and the job that you have. That's the most important thing. And I don't understand why these athletes continue to fall on themselves and make these mistakes when you have the resources to be able to do otherwise. Now, if it's just some Joe Schmoll that don't have that particular, you got to be on your P's and Q's. You got to make sure that you do what you have to do. But if you have the resources to hire people to be able to protect you, protect you as an asset, do so. That's my whole thing. Right. So until we we get all the the information out there, it looks like Mr. Giddy is in some big trouble. And, you know, I would hate to see this kid, um, his career get cut short of some BS, but you got to be careful. You got to take full responsibility of the actions that you go ahead and do. So. I gotta remind me, next break, I got a funny story for you guys. Nice. Remind me. Yes. Moving on. Moving on. I'm going to wait until after the break. Uh, KD, uh, KG's comments about Jordan Poole said that he shouldn't be in the league. He doesn't deserve to be in the league. Thoughts? I agree. Did you see this buffoon? <laughs> Just letting the ball roll down with the down clock. 10. I'm like, like, what are you doing? The huddle of him just not paying attention, not paying attention, talking about this is my team, I got this. Like, if you listen, you know what type of dick you have to be to get kicked off a championship roster team full of vets that are just like, yo, we can be able to take on any personality here because we go through this. We're we're seasoned team. We can be able to handle this. And they said, nah, you, you got to get this dude out of here. Who, who was the porn star that was at the game watching him that, the other night? Where I think he only had like six points. Uh-huh. Yeah, he had, he, had a, he had some joint on. Yeah, yeah, like the porn star sitting courtside, came to see him play. And he stunk it up, bro. He's just bad. He, he's he, he just air balls. He's just, he, he's just one. He's a bad character guy that. I, I never thought was good from day one. Like, came out of Michigan, got drafted, you know, was a very inefficient player as a rookie, came and had that one good season for Golden State and got paid. You see what happens is that people tend to do this a lot. Dudes get one good year and they're like, yo, we got to pay, we got to. We got to make sure we, we lock him in. Like, nah, how about you see it play out for a little bit longer? And then go ahead and make that decision. Glad you said that. Because I need you to walk something back. Mm. Go ahead. Scoot. Oh, no, it's too early. It's too early. Yeah, it's way too early for that. They sent them downstairs, bro. Doesn't matter. Come on. He's hurt, too. That's too early. Come on, bro. You have to talk about Scoot year two. If he's still not popping in year two, then 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 I'll I'll walk you back. You said... when. I know what I said. Wait. I know what I said. He's generational, but you gotta give him point. You gotta give him time. Some people's curves are this way. Some people's curves are this way. I'm talking about potential. You know, you you know what I'm talking about, man. This is sports. Now that you cleared it up, we know. Now nah, I cleared it up. You're right. That, that was that was foul. 